hope you guys are well. Today is catch up on my life day. We had an incredibly busy weekend, all good things, it was amazing, but I didn't get my typical things done that I normally do on Sunday. It is Monday, so we are just going to get it all done together. I'm gonna bring you along for the day, whole house reset, all the things. I'm so thankful that you're here. We are going to start with getting dinner in the crock pot. I have a recipe I wanna show you guys. It is so good and so easy. So let's start there and we'll just see where the day takes us. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're gonna do a chicken enchilada casserole. So we're gonna need a tortilla. You can use any types of tortillas that you want. You could also do corn. Speaking of corn, we need some frozen corn, some chicken breast, taco seasoning, I do petite diced tomatoes because my kids don't like the regular sized diced tomatoes. They're too large for them. They won't eat it then. Black beans. This, oh my gosh, this poor enchilada sauce. It has been through it. I don't know what happened to this can, but some, we do mild enchilada sauce because our family doesn't like spicy. And then I do the reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese from Walmart. The recipe that I'm gonna link for you guys does call for green chilies and just a little bit spicier ingredients, but I omit that because of our family and our everybody's needs. I want everybody to eat it. I will add some cilantro to the top of it once it is done cooking, but let's get this in the crock pot and I'll bring you along later on today to show you when it's done. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would we are now going to do what I call the laundry lineup. I typically get the kids laundry done on Sunday, Steven and I tag team getting that done, but again, like I already told you, it was an insane weekend. So we are behind on laundry, which is normal for me, if I'm being honest. So we're gonna do the laundry lineup. I want to, the only bedding that we have to wash are Steven and I's um, linen, so I'm gonna pull that off the bed. Then I'm gonna grab each of the kids' laundries. I know we have some towels that I need to wash, so I'm just gonna line everything up outside the laundry room. I probably won't get every single load done today, but that's okay. But it helps me if I have it just all lined up and then I set a timer on my watch and just keep them going. The good thing about the kids laundry is they put it away themselves. It's just a part of their chores to earn their mom bucks. And so I just have to wash it, dry it, put it on their bed and they'll put that away tonight for me. So I'm gonna start with Steven and I's bed and then after that, I'll make the kids laundry a priority and then we'll see how far we get with the other stuff. If not, I'll just finish it tomorrow. All right, let's go. Okay, my friends, let me know in the comment section, do you have a set laundry routine or schedule that you follow? As I mentioned, Sunday is usually when Steven and I will get all of our kids' laundry done, but then there's very little time for our laundry or linens or towels or anything like that. I don't have a set routine, and I'm, I don't know if I want to make a set routine, for me, it's more when I see that the towel, I have a laundry basket for each thing, so each of the kids have a laundry basket. Each, we have a laundry basket designated for dirty towels. Linens are obviously different, they're on the beds, and so I just kind of have to keep up with, oh, has it been, you know, two weeks? It's probably time to wash somebody's bedding. But I just, I guess for me, it's more of a routine where we have our designated baskets, but I don't have a schedule besides the kids' laundry. And I'm, I'm on the fence on whether or not I want to have a schedule. I feel like I thrive with schedules, but I don't want it to be so strict that I feel like I'm failing if I don't get the laundry done because, I, as I mentioned, I'm a work in progress with laundry. It's not a priority for me, and so I tend to fall behind with it. But I am very curious what works for you. If, especially people with large families, how do you keep up with it all? As we're getting into the summer season, we're gonna have a lot more dirty towels because we are a family that goes to the pool almost every single day. So I am anticipating that and thinking about that. And now probably is the time for me to get on a routine. I had to hide all the socks really deep in the baskets from Annie. She has this quirk where she likes to steal dirty socks and eat them. Does anybody else's dogs do that? Okay, here's the laundry lineup in order of importance. Steven and I's bedding. Well, the kids, we're going to get it all done today. There is no important order for my children. I love them all equally. <laughs> but Charlie, I went oldest to youngest. Charlie, Liam, Rory. Towels, lots of towels. That's probably at least two loads. And then my laundry. All right, let's do this. 
because I care about you. As the weather gets warmer, make sure you're drinking your water. The day that I filmed my front porch and back porch refresh, it was really hot, I was sweating a lot. I was drinking iced coffee instead of water and I got like a calf cramp for the first time in forever later that day and I think it's because I was dehydrated. So I am trying really hard. This is my second fill up of the day and it's only, it's not even 11 o'clock. So I'm doing good. So my goal is to, is to drink three of these a day. So just a reminder out there, water is so important. You guys know that iced coffee is my life, but I need to drink more water. Clearer. Trying to fly because I'm light as a feather. But I can't hide, I can't low at the same time. Feels so right, then I'm wrong. Hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought. While I'm getting the kitchen put back together, I just want to give an early happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You guys are incredible. I know how hard you work and your families are so lucky to have you. So I hope you have the best weekend plans ever. Let me know what are you guys planning to do for Mother's Day and for the weekend. I So Saturday, Liam, our middle son, has a basketball tournament. It's just a one-day tournament. So the plan right now is I'm actually not going to go to it. Steven and Charlie are going to go for the day with Liam. And then Rory and I are going to go spend the day with my mom. And we're going to do just a fun girls' day and get manis and petties and just all those things. And then on Sunday for the actual Mother's Day, we're going to also spend some time with my mom. But I told Steven all I really want to do on Mother's Day is just spend time with the kids, relax, and eat cupcakes. <laughs> it just sounds like the perfect day for me. Maybe even just have a moment to read a book. That's that's the most perfect day for me. So let me know what your plans are. What is your perfect weekend look like? Let me know all the things in the comments. And again, happy Mother's Day to all those moms out there. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted somehow Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied
believe how quickly this school year went by for us. This was our golden year where all three of our kids were in the same school. It's only going to happen for one year their entire lives. For anybody new, we have Rory, our six-year-old daughter, who was in kindergarten this year, and then our nine-year-old son, Liam, who's in third grade, and our 11-year-old son, Charlie, who's in fifth grade. And where we live, they start middle school in sixth grade. I cannot believe I'm going to have a middle school child next year. Time is going way too fast. I wish there was a way to slow it down, but this has been our absolute favorite school year. All three of my children had incredible teachers, just the best teachers ever. And I don't want this year to end and we only have three more weeks, but I'm also at the same time so excited for summer and going to the pool and eating popsicles and just all of our family adventures that we will be having. I'm just in this in-between spot of I need time to slow down, but I'm also so excited for what each of the new days will bring. Where are you at with everything? Are your kids finishing school at the end of May like mine are? Do they go into June? We are on a new calendar for our school. It started, I think, a year or two ago where they now start school in August, and then we were actually supposed to get out in June this year, but the school board changed it and made it for an end of May. Um, school year just like a month or two ago I think they told everybody so it was a recent change but the last week of school is usually half days anyway so I am all about that early summer start especially because the weather at the end of May is just so much more enjoyable when we get closer to August and later in the summer it just gets so hot outside so the earlier that the summer begins I think the better for the outdoor adventures but I just I can't believe how quickly this year has gone by. And I am just feeling all of the mom feelings of my baby, you know, graduating kindergarten this year and just growing up so quickly. And then my oldest going off to middle school next year. They say that babies don't keep. And I just truly understand that statement now. And it is just unreal how quickly time goes by. Okay, I promise I will stop with the emo talk now. Let's keep it positive and talk about summer. What are your plans this summer? We are going to be home. We don't have any big vacations planned. I just like to soak up what we have around us where we kind of do staycations and just do all the hikes and pool and just all the adventures here at home where we live. We have so many opportunities here. We might do a weekend or two at the beach, just like a close by local beach, just for fun, stay in a hotel, but we're going to be here. And I'm so excited. The kids have a couple of new camps. They're going to try out. Rory has a multicultural camp. She's going to be doing Liam's doing a foreign language camp at his school. And he is so excited for that. We've got basketball basketball camps going on. I'm just very much looking forward to summer, but slowing down is just so necessary for our family right now. Okay, I'm not going to vacuum right now. We'll see if we get to it later. Annie is way too comfy. I'm not going to disrupt her. She doesn't like the vacuum, so we're going to wait a little bit. It is time to do the thing that I have been putting off for far too long, and that's the pantry. It's a disaster in there. I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna take it on together. It, it's just gotten out of control. And before, I have a big Costco order coming right now to replenish all the snacks. So before that gets here, I've got to get some type of organization going back in there so then it's easy to restock everything. And I also want to add the plastic mat underneath the Keurig because it spills everywhere. It's a messy little thing. So let's just take on the pantry together. Before we do that, let me share our meal plan for the week because I know as a mom, I love to get dinner ideas. Last night, we did a simple rotisserie chicken with frozen broccoli and macaroni and cheese. You were with me for this for the chicken enchilada in the crock pot. Tomorrow night, we're doing some spaghetti. And then this is kind of my imitation Chick-fil-A sandwich for the kids, and I'll show you because it's coming today from Costco. But we're going to do a chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries. And then for me, I just kind of put on the side, I'm going to do a turkey burger. And then I've never made them before, but I have been craving them. They keep popping up in my Pinterest feed. I want to try some egg roll bowls. Have you guys ever made them? If so, please share your recipe with me. All right, so there's just some fun ideas for you. Now back to the pantry. When our pantry gets in this state of chaos, which happens more often than I would like to admit, I always just start with the floor. 
I just need to get a clean floor before I can move on to any other area. And yes, I am aware that I have an abundance of sparkling water, but I am someone when there is a buy one, get one free, I load up. Because sparkling water is, I mean, it's not expensive, but it's also not cheap. So when I can get a buy one, get one free, especially on the bubbly brand, which is my absolute favorite, and that's what Walmart was running the other day. No, I'm sorry, it wasn't Walmart. It was our, our grocery store called Publix. Walmart never does buy one, get one free that I'm aware of. Has anybody ever discovered that at Walmart? I mean, generally our groceries are always the least expensive when I get them from Walmart, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But our Publix grocery store does a lot of buy one, get ones free. And so I got those loaded up, and the one actually that I'm putting away right now with the pink and the yellow can, uh, sorry, packaging, is their new Strawberry Sunset one. And they also have one called Bellini Bis Bliss. I know I've showed that to you guys on my channel, but they are so good, and they are just the perfect summer flavor in my opinion so I highly recommend those if you're a sparkling water lover like me so we're gonna get going on the pantry the floor is ready to go so we're gonna keep moving and I will say the kids when they got home from school they immediately always go to the pantry to look for a snack I waited I didn't say anything I, I they walked in the pantry and each one one at a time was just amazed by how our pantry looked it made me feel so good because you know when you when you're a stay-at-home mom and you do the things and you just you sometimes feel like your family just expects things to be clean and expects laundry to be done but it just having those and I have very grateful children but it just when you have those moments when they really acknowledge something that you worked hard on it just felt so good you said that you needed me like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotions Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with Do you think this mat is gonna be so much easier to clean? Cause I feel like the coffee is starting to stain our countertops. So I'm, it was kind of curling up on the edge you saw. So I'm gonna leave that on there overnight to flatten it out. But I think this is gonna be so much better. Okay, while we're waiting on the Costco order, I'm gonna go ahead and refill cereal containers that I know we already have, and then we'll go over here and just go through all of this stuff and get them into these containers. Get all of that put back in the pantry, and then we'll be ready for the order.
my goodness. Things have taken a turn. Look who heard the spill and came very close by. Another day, another broken container. I'm waiting for one more of my OXO containers to break and then I think I'm going to invest in some new ones. You guys made some really good recommendations. A couple of you said the Better Homes and Gardens brand from Walmart so I've been looking into those. They are definitely I think more affordable than the OXO ones and I'm very intrigued so I think I will probably start getting those when the time comes but and then I'll just use the OXO containers for craft storage and things like that. I'm certainly not going to throw them away because they're still good containers but when the lid isn't working working properly the food goes stale faster and so I can't keep using them but I'm gonna wait I'm gonna let one more break which I don't think will take much longer and then we're gonna move on to some new ones Every time I want to make the bed. She was asleep in the downstairs. It's like she sensed that it was time to make the bed and she came running up. I do love her though. I do love you. I do love how quirky Annie is. She truly always comes running when she knows I'm making the bed. I can't explain it. It's just some instinct that she has. Also, can we talk about the fact that fresh linens on your bed, the smell of them, the warmth of them, is just one of life's greatest pleasures. I am really trying to enjoy the simple things. I've always been somebody that's just loves the simple, the little things in life. I think those add up to all the big things. And I just, one of the things that I just truly appreciate is a bed with clean sheets and clean blankets. And it is just such a treat. Other small moments that I greatly appreciate is always my first sip of hot coffee in the morning. It is the best. Uh, hugs from my kids, that feeling when your kid is hugging you, when I'm pouring snacks into a container for restock and they fit perfectly in the snack container. These are the moments to celebrate, my friends. What are some small moments that you enjoy? I'm laying down into the oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to die. I see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you. Okay, let's check in real quick. I am going to hand wash the few items that we have in the sink because I want to be able to clean and disinfect our sink because I do have a lot of produce coming from Costco. So before the Costco order gets here, I want to get that done. Annie wants a little bit of a snack. She's had the hardest time lately making it till dinner time. I don't know what's going on. Do dogs hit growth spurs at the age of three? I don't know. I feel like that's what we always blame when our children get hungry. We're like, they must be going through a growth spur. Um, I have a couple of snacks that were just in the pantry where we were just eating them out of the boxes. So I'm gonna get those put away once the Costco order comes because I know I have a lot of snacks coming for the Costco order. The main point of that order was to replenish all the kids' snacks and just get some fresh fruit because I love their produce. I feel like it's the best. And I'm drinking water. All right, let's disinfect the sink. You got all your secrets. I can seem to move this thing. You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the side.
through this haul real quick. The typical toilet paper and paper towels. And then these flowers, gosh, they look gorgeous. Let me try to get a better view for you guys. I'm so excited to put these in the vases. And then these are for Liam's teacher for Teacher Appreciation Week, part of his gift. Here is my latest late night, not even late night. I try to have it prior to eight o'clock, but my favorite just kind of fill me up before bed snack. And I feel like it's like a treat, but it's also healthy. I do the seven Sundays real cocoa cereal. It's a protein cereal. And then I add some of the Catalina Crunch. This is the cinnamon toast flavor. These two together are so good. And then I use my unsweetened vanilla almond milk with that. So good. I wanted some more of my favorite chips to go with some. It's over here. I'll show you in a second, but some avocado mash. We needed peanut butter. Rory and I both love these. They're so good. And then school snacks. So we needed some Cheez-Its. We needed some Pirate's Booty. We needed some veggie straws. And then these are a little treat for the kids. I put them out in our freezer that we have in the garage and they can have them after school with their friends. And then these are new. I am so excited to try these. I don't know how small mini tubs are, but they are only 100 calories and they have really good flavors. Let's see, we'll read them together. So double chocolate mint, strawberry shortcake, yum. Sea salt caramel and vanilla bean. So good, I can't wait to try them. I will put up on the screen right now and let you know what I thought of them. And then I haven't tried this flavor before. I've done the Amy Lou, the teriyaki flavor, but then I noticed that they now have basil and Parmesan chicken meatballs and the stats are really good. They're high in protein. So I'm gonna use this for a meal prep later this week. And then here is my copycat Chick-fil-A sandwich that I like to make for the kids. It's a little bit healthier and it's just the um, Just Bear brand and it's just chicken fillets, but they're really good. And we have Chick-fil-A sauce that we'll put on it and the kids really don't even know the difference and it's so good. And then I love the Just Bear chicken bites as well. I put them on my salad. I also put these on my salad. Clearly we needed to kind of restock our freezer with all of the chicken and things like that. Oh, this is what I was talking about that I'm gonna use my favorite chips for. It's just the avocado mash. I will also add salsa to this to make it just look more like a chunky avocado mash. And so that's really good. And then just the berries, strawberries, blueberries, grapes, and then Liam's favorite fruit has been pears lately. So I got some more pears for him. All right, let's get everything restocked.
another simple thing that always brings me so much joy is fresh flowers, or really just flowers in general. If you watched my front porch and back porch uh, refresh, decorate with me, we planted some flowers and I am getting so much joy from them daily. I look forward to the afternoon when Roy and I go out and water them together. They're just so beautiful. And so I love to indulge every now and then in some fresh flowers for myself. I know some people say I don't bother with flowers because they're gonna die. But my theory is just enjoy them while they're alive, while you have them. And stay tuned. I think in my next video, I want to set up my indoor planter system that I have. And I want to start growing my own flowers because they do add up when you're buying them on the regular. But they just bring me so much happiness. Thinking about the way that you know me. No one ever cared like you care for me. You're such a bright star in the dark space. So fly, you got me like quickly this bouquet had the most whimsical looking flowers or i guess stems that i have never seen before i don't know what that is but it is so pretty let me know in the comments if you know and then this guy never seen that before but just so beautiful obviously the roses smell amazing but i think that actually this is my favorite they're so sweet they just instantly make me happy
It's been about four hours, so the chicken is now cooked in the crock pot. So I'm going to take, I use a meat masher, and I just separate the chicken like this. The chicken was very tender. It was very easy to separate it. That way I don't have to get a cutting board dirty. I've seen people where they take a hand mixer and they stick it in there. It's probably the same concept, but I've just always used a meat chopper for mine, and it works perfectly well. And then I, we're just going to cut some tortillas. I use a, a pizza cutter, again, just a simple little way to get it cut faster. And we're gonna add the remaining ingredients and I will put the recipe for this in the video description box for you. But about 30 minutes before you're ready to eat dinner, this is when you're gonna wanna do all of this. So we're gonna put the remaining ingredients in, put the lid back on, cook it on low for 30 more minutes. And this dinner is so good. And this is one of those recipes where leftovers taste even better. So I highly recommend this one. To fly up in the zone now oh. I'm like a golden crown world and high up in the sky oh. It's the way you make me feel so good I feel so good right now It's the way you make me feel so good job on laundry today all that's left in here are just bath rugs so I'll get those washed tomorrow and then what typically happens is I don't get to my laundry so I will just get that done tomorrow but I'll have all the kids laundry done before the end of the day today and the bedding and I think that's amazing okay now I'm gonna do something that I never usually do and that's break down the boxes it is usually Steven that does this for me but I'm gonna surprise him and actually do it myself. So I'm gonna break down most of the boxes. But these Costco boxes are impossible. yogurt review this brand is twisted I don't know if I the camera picked it up for you guys really good I'm having the strawberry shortcake one it's it's very light and airy it reminds me of 
I think Yoplait is a brand that does the whipped yogurt. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, Annie wants a bite. It's really good, I like it. I haven't tried the other flavors yet, obviously, but strawberry shortcake, <laughs> pretty tasty. that you all enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys back here on Tuesday where we're going to be organizing some different spots throughout our home together and I'm also going to share some healthy meal ideas throughout the day have a great weekend I'll see you on Tuesday bye